Wejść za Wangi, pełni masz. Jest przecież bardzo bliska, więc na pewno jak najlepiej. Teraz znów trafia teraz... Y... Halo, 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 sahabat pencinta olahraga di mana pun anda berada, terkhususnya yang selalu mengikutkan pertandingan pertandingan tinju dunia. Ya, kembali lagi bertemu dengan Epos Channel dan semoga sobat semuanya dalam keadaan sehat-sehat selalu dan baik-baik saja. Pada video kali ini kita akan kembali menyaksikan salah satu pertandingan sengit. Bagaimana mempertemukan petinju Indonesia berhadapan dengan salah satu petinju dari Jepang juga Ya dialah Chris John saat berhadapan dengan petinju Jepang yaitu Soji Kimura Ya, dan bisa disaksikan pertandingan yang telah berlangsung dimulai pada ronde pertama dalam laga 12 ronde antara Chris John berhadapan dengan Soji Kimura ini pada, pada ronde pertama terlihat Chris John mendominasi pertandingan mana melakukan penjajakan ini beberapa turun keras dan terarah sempat dilancarkan oleh Chris John yang membuat Soji Kimura cukup kerepotan menghadapi Chris John pada awal-awal penjajakan ronde pertama ini. Ya dan pada pertandingan ini Chris John menggunakan celana berwarna hitam Sarung tinju berwarna hitam putih Dan sarung tinju berwarna hitam Sedangkan lawannya yaitu Soji Kimura Yang merupakan petinju dari Jepang menggunakan sarung tinju berwarna hitam putih juga celana berwarna merah hitam putih kuning kemasan serta sepatu berwarna merah hitam dan tato berada di bagian belakang dari Soji Kimura sedangkan celana dari Chris John bergambarkan bendera merah putih Ya dan terlihat pada ronde pertama dalam proses penjajakan ini Dua petinju bermain dengan cukup berhati-hati Meskipun Chris John yang terlihat lebih mendominasi Memberikan tekanan terhadap Soji Kimura Namun sesekali juga terlihat Soji Kimura Berusaha untuk mencari kelemahan dari Chris John Dengan melepaskan beberapa pukulan keras dan terarah Ya dan pertandingan pun memasuki ronde kedua Pada laga 12 ronde antara Chris John berhadapan dengan Soji Kimura ini Dan duel antara Chris John berhadapan dengan Soji Kimura berlangsung di Marina San Singapura Langsung pada 5 Mei 2012 silam Uh, dan terlihat memasuki ronde kedua ini Chris John tampil sangat luar biasa Pukulan keras dan terarah terus dilancarkan Bahkan beberapa pukulan telak berhasil Hantam keras bagian pelipis dan juga rusuk dari Soji Kimura Pada awal-awal ronde kedua ini Lagi-lagi pukulan kombinasi yang sempurna Berusaha untuk membongkar pertahanan dari Soji Kimura Yang dilakukan oleh Chris John pada ronde kedua uh, Mendapatkan sedikit dorongan dari Soji Kimura Membuat Chris John hampir terpeleset dan terjatuh Luar biasa pukulan kombinasi yang dilakukan oleh Chris John ini Dan tak mau mendapatkan tekanan terus 
Suji Kimura sesekali melepaskan beberapa pukulan balasan terhadap Chris John yang cukup terarah juga. Oh, satu pukulan keras datang kanan Chris John masih menghantam pelips dari Suji Kimura sangat luar biasa pukulan kombinasi yang terus lancarkan Chris John ini Dan hingga ronde kedua, dominasi penuh masih tampak ditunjukkan oleh Chris the Dragon John yang membuat Soji Kimura cukup kewalahan. Terlihat Chris John yang terus berusaha membongkar pertahanan atau kelemahan dari Soji Kimura hingga berakhirnya ronde kedua. Ya, dan pertandingan memasuki ronde ketiga Laga 12 ronde Mempertemukan Chris the Dragon John Ketinggi legenda Indonesia Berhadapan dengan Sabuk dari Chris John yaitu kelas super WBA. Masuk ke dalam dan setelah ini pergi dengan Xmerdovem. Chris John. Terus ke dalam siapa? Chris John. Apa yang dia lakukan? Hasil dilakukan oleh Chris John. Lagi-lagi. Soji Kimura dihujani pukulan bertubi-tubi oleh Chris John. Ada ronde ketiga. Kita masih perlu pusing dalam lembaran kong Chris John. Eventual nih kata kuf Erivala. Agi kalau lebih prosti est. Bardzo precyzyjna, a przy tym ta prawa ręka raz bije bardzo obszerny taki overhand prawy z góry, innym razem prawy krzyżowy, między rękawicą rywala. Teraz z kolei był lewy na korpus pod prawy łokieć, prawy podbródkowy i znów lewy nie z dołu i prawy z góry. Troszkę teraz chyba było za nisko, sędzia z Nowej Zelandii, Ferlin Marsz. Jest przecież bardzo blisko, a więc na pewno widział to najlepiej. Teraz znów trafia, teraz po tym uderzeniu, bitym gdzieś w okolice ucha. No, już zachwiał się wyraźnie Shoji Kimura. I znów prawy na korpus. Nie podejmuje walki, tak naprawdę Japończyk. Pertandingan terbaik dari Chris John. Cakap na usmi klasu, że coś się wydarzy dla niego wyjątkowo korzystnego, ale nic takiego rozwiązania nie zapowiada. Chris John konsekwentny aż do bólu. Selain Suji Kimura, beberapa. Widzisz tam jest sporo miejsca nad lewą ręką Kimura, więc tam bije i nie zapomina, oczywiście o ciosach na korpus. Tersebut juga Chris John berhasil mengalahkan Hiroyuki Noki di Jepang. Di mana saat itu Hiroyuki Noki tampil sebagai tuan rumah. Kali ini pada fokus kemestian Kimura. Ada takie czasy bite w okolicy ucha. Są równie niebezpieczne. Pertandingan ini. Ta runda również będzie zapisana. I to wygrał wyraźnie ten sędzia. Punktował 120, 109, 1, 117, 111. Ja, dan Margaret Samson mnie mógł działać w pertandingu, nie tyle masuki rondy kempat. Dalam jadwal 12 rondy. Przemówiony Chris John berhadapan dengan Suji Kimura. Para pertandingan yang berlangsung di Singapura ini dan masih sama seperti ronde pertama hingga ronde ketiga ronde keempat ini 
John masih mendominasi pertandingan dan terus menyudutkan Soji Kimura dengan beberapa kombinasi yang terus dilancarkan oleh Chris John dan sesekali Soji Kimura masih melakukan balasan pukulan yang cukup keras juga terhadap Chris John Przewaga Chrysa Johna bezporna, bardzo wysoka. I nic nie zanosi się na to, aby cokolwiek mogło się w obrazie tego pojedynku zmienić. Troszkę spóźnił się z reakcją teraz sędzia ringowy. I proszę, raz zaczyna akcję lewym prostym, raz innym razem potrójnym lewym prostym, a jednym lewym sierpowym, bitym na górę. Za nisko, za nisko teraz uderzył Chris John. Pytanie, czy widział to sędzia ringowy Fanning Marsz nie widział. Bardzo dobre są te ponowienia ataku Chris'a Johna. Dobry tempo boksuje Chris John. Terlihat pukulan kombinasi dan keras yang terus dilancarkan Chris John Hingga berakhirnya ronde ke-4 pun Tak mampu untuk membuat Soji Kimura menyerah Meskipun mendapatkan pukulan yang, ber, yang begitu keras bertubi-tubi dari Chris John Namun rupanya Soji Kimura masih mampu bertahan hingga ronde ke-5 dan pada ronde kelima ini Gaya atau aksi bermain dari Chris John ini masih sama seperti ronde pertama hingga ronde keempat Dimana Soji Kimura yang terus mendapatkan tekanan Yang terus mendapatkan pukulan keras dan terarah dari Chris John dan hingga ronde kelima ini, total keseluruhan pukulan yang dilepaskan oleh Chris John lebih banyak yang masuk ketimbang dari Soji Kimura hingga ronde kelima. Bisa terlihat pukulan kombinasi yang terus lancarkan Chris John ini selalu tepat sasaran. Bahkan pukulan keras dari Chris John ini memiliki power di atas rata-rata mana semangat dan juga Aksi dari Chris John Dan sejumlah pengalaman yang dimiliki Membuat jalannya pertandingan untuk disaksikan pun sangat seru Lihat tekanan terus dilakukan Chris John Membuat Suji Kimura bahkan terlihat kecapean menerima serangan bertubi-tubi yang terus dilancarkan Chris John hingga ronde kelima ini. Trafił 
w tej fazie walki troszkę odważniej zaczął boksować Kimura. Dan gaya bertanding dari Chris John maupun Hiroyuki Nuki sama-sama bermain atau bertarung dengan gaya bertanding ortodoks. Dan pada ronde pertama ini ronde kelima Chris John mendominasi pertandingan hingga ronde ke enam pun Hiroyuki Nuki tak mampu berbicara banyak. Tekanan terus dilakukan Chris John. Membuat petinju dari Jepang ini mengakui kekuatan dari Chris John pada pertandingan memperbutkan gelar milik Chris John yaitu kelas Super WBA Championship ini. Saying that though, Kimura is oh, that's a beautiful left rip from Chris John. Followed up the short little right hand through the gloves of Kimura. Don't count Kimura out though. These guys, this, this Kimura is a tough customer, and he's a seasoned veteran. Better to die on your feet than to beg on your knees. But I don't mean that literally, but rather metaphorically. Yeah, yeah, it's. They uh, are a brave, brave nation. Very brave. A right hand that went within a whisker of Chris John, who makes him miss. Oh. Nice defense there from Chris John, but uh, just straight away after, after digging hard to the body. The art of boxing is not so much hitting, but not being hit. And Chris John just showed us what the masters do. Chris is starting to come into his own now. He's starting to relax. He's in a rhythm now. Chris is in a rhythm, and he realizes at the moment he's got this guy's number. He's got his measure, but he wants to be careful. He's dangerous, Kimura. And he is a big left hand, and although caught on the gloves, Malcolm Green, there was still power on the end of it, and yeah. Kimura felt it. I think uh, Chris needs to uh, switch more to the body. Another left hand, a scoring punch from Kimura. They may be well few and far between, as John really starts to dominate this world title affair That's a... left to the body left hook right hand beautiful boxing from chris john kimura showing his toughness he sticks his tongue out smiling at chris john saying is that the best you got and that's what i love about these fighters they just they've got so much heart and so much determination and the most most mere mortals would have been on the canvas 15 minutes ago the dragon in the year of the dragon in round six Starts to start like a matador. Mark and Mal, I saw this Kimura down the down the rise. The, where is the rise bar? Was it? It was the rise. The rise bar having something to eat yesterday, and I was Two having, to tonight. having a cup of tea. And, uh, and he, I went over and said hello. And the guys there, they just they just they're just so calm and so relaxed. And this Kimura bloke, I like to look at him, and I like to stop. Him. No, I'm joking. Round seven action. As you, as you said before, Mark, out in the production room, Margie and Charlie doing a great job so far. They certainly are. They certainly are. I must say they've got first class facility. Don't, they don't leave Hass out. And Hass. Hass is pulling his weight big. <laughs> Hass is a large gentleman that does an enormous amount of work. Okay, back to the serious stuff. Round seven action. 2.30 gone, round seven. He taps with the left hand to the outside of the glove and then that short right hand is there. Oh, lovely body shot. That was right in the bread box. That would have hurt. Big left hand to the body. Right hand upstairs caught on the glove, but again, you would have felt the power out of the right hand of Chris John. I'd like to know whether he could stop him right now if he continues the body. They are enormous body shots. I still think that uh, the, the German, sorry, the Japanese guys are soaking him up. I agree with you, man. I think this Kimura is a very tough customer. I, I, I don't know whether he's going to be Oh, lovely shot and there another by one. Kimura. Left up and another Two left hooks. Beautiful punch by Kimura. And again, a right he's hand. He's staggered. Chris John. Chris John staggered. Chris John is in trouble at 1.30 in round seven. A left 
took that I think may have connected. Uh, this fight looked like it was going to go all one way, and then Kamira just came up with a shot punch. Beautiful left uppercut, left hook, left hook, then an overhand right that stayed Chris John. It was the accumulation of punches, and Chris John was hurt, but he's back on now. He's got his composure again. Let's hope. Well, let's see what he can do. Like so often, I've gone too early, and have we gone too early in this one? Thanks for that, Mark. Stay with the boxing. A right hand, a short right hand by Chris John. Yeah, very, very nice right hand. He's, he, he's just had to do that. He, he needed to get that the dragon punch on to regain his composure and, 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 and to set his authority once again. But wow, that was a, a, a beautiful bit of boxing by, by Shoji Kimura. Three words. One, Mark well, Marquez. And, you know, he's regained his composure. But again, this boy, Kimura, has set himself up for this fight, no doubt in the world. He's still showing his toughness, Mark. He's still keep walking up. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a story, Mark and Mel. Chris John was dropped in the first round by Juan Manuel Marquez. Went back to his corner, and then Craig Christian and Angel Hyder said, What are you doing? He went out there, and for the next 11 rounds, totally outboxed and beat Juan Manuel Marquez. Was dropped in round one, Chris John. Felt the power and then came back and dominated. Unbelievable. Juan Manuel Marquez, one of the one of the superstars. And that was back in March of 2006. Six years ago. And now, seven in the bank. And again, I harp on the fact that Kimura took 15, 16 months off to prepare to become a featherweight. It's sort of like David Hayes took time before going from cruiser to heavy let's you know it, it's difficult to say let's see how this fight pans out it's uh it's seven rounds down look it's long long odds but i just from nowhere this man stands from nowhere he rocks the champion the super champion let's not get carried away kamura's won one round and he staggered chris john with a couple of beautiful shots but it's a 12 round fight and it's the sport of boxing. You can get hit and clipped and hurt any stage of the game. It's how you come back from being hurt, which shows a true champion. And Chris John's doing that right now. He's tagging Kamura hard. Do you think Kamura staggered him a couple of times? I think he has, definitely. When you're getting punched in the face, mate, you're bound to get staggered. No doubt. I'll take your word for it. Left hook, a lead left hook. Not many can pull that out of the kit bag. He, he rode with the punch, but he felt the power as well. But Chris John's not a one, pan, one punch knockout puncher. He doesn't have that one punch knockout power. Zoom He's power. A, yeah, he doesn't have cost of power. He's an accumulative puncher. He wears them down, and he hurts people. But what? Still plenty of power in there. When you get hit with a punch, one knockout punch, you don't really feel it because you're knocked down. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Sometimes. But if you take eight, ten rounds of punishment, I tell you now, which I've done, I've, I've been knocked out before and I've, I've knocked guys out. Yes. And some of the fights where I've gone the distance and won, I've gone ten rounds and won the fight, but you're so sore. You're yeah. incredibly sore. Yeah. And Chris John, he hurts his opponents because he hits them so many times. I'd still like to see him go to the body just a little bit more often. I think he can make this a little easier for himself now, in your opinion. Yes, I agree, Mark. Um, you don't have to agree. The, the uh, three or four times I've seen Kamara go backwards, it's been because of body blows. Opinions from Malcolm Green, the father of the Green Machine, Danny Green. Round eight action with 43 seconds left on the clock. The man at centre ring, Mr. Phelan Marsh, has not had too much work to do. This right hand that comes over the left shoulder and catches Kimura just underneath the ear, uh, just on the end of the jawbone. And there's no doubt in the world that this is what he's talking about, the dragon punch. And I can tell you, if Craig's talked about it, they would have rehearsed it 2,000 times, if yeah. not more. Yeah, they, they, they'd be, oh, a lovely left rip there by Chris John. That was a beautiful shot. I tell you now, a left rip is one of the hardest punches to land effectively and cleanly, and he just landed a cracker. This will be of interest to our worldwide viewers, I think, as we end the round, round eight. But not forgotten, Skinny Hussain, the body snatcher of the little men. 
hingga pertandingan pun memasuki ronde ke-9 di mana pada ronde ke-9 ini Chris John yang sempat mendapatkan pemotongan angka dari dewan juri di mana akibat pukulan dari Chris John yang dianggap di bagian bawah yang sempat mengenai bagian terlarang dari petinju Jepang yaitu Soji Kimura pada ronde ke-9 ini namun dari aksi dari Chris John itu tidak memudarkan semangatnya sama sekali mana Chris John yang terus mendominasi pertandingan dan melakukan pukulan keras dan kombinasi yang terus merepotkan Soji Kimura hingga ronde ke-9 ini dan petinju kebanggaan Indonesia ini yaitu Chris the Dragon John kembali mendapatkan teguran dari wasit akibat memukul kepala bagian belakang dari Soji Kimura Hook. 
second left hook that if it found the money, gee whiz, it was almost decapitation. I'll be super impressed if Chris Chong can stop Shoji Kimura. Kimura, the blood coming from the nose, and he is so bright. He has been prepared to the minute. Shoji Kimura. I can't work out how he's still standing. Comments from Malcolm Brown. We've got father and son team. Danny Green, Malcolm Brown, Mark Warren, Marina Bay Sands, Dragon Fire, 12 rounds of championship boxing. And Malcolm the Green's world. here too. Malcolm Green is here too. Mal Brown was the, uh, that, that, <laughs> that footballer. And my my favourite AFL player. And when you talk about Mal's cut snakes, yeah, Mal's right up there. And a big, <laughs> and a big hello to his son, Campbell Brown. Yeah, unreal. <laughs> Good fella too, mate. Ripper bloke, ripper bloke. Loves the and boxing. A, and, a fair, and a fair bit of that cut snake rubbed <laughs> off on him, mate. He's a beauty. Loves the boxing. Campbell Brown. Kamura has absorbed a lot of punishment this round. Lovely left hook there from Chris John. You might not have seen that at home, but here you can hear the crack it makes as we're right, we're right close up ringside. If you're going to make mistakes, you do it at 100%, you do it at fast pace. And that's how we have a little error there. That closes out round number 10 from the number 12. Oh, this is round 11. I'd like Mal to start doing the arithmetic and I haven't got a cal uh, calculator for you. A swing and a miss by Kimura. A oh, big right hook from Chris John. Jeez, I admire this Kimura fella. He is very brave and tough and still looking. Look, he's not just in this fight surviving. He's trying to win. He's in the fight and he will have to knock out Chris John to achieve it, one would think. But I haven't got the judges' scorecards. Both boys trading big uppercuts. And I've seen a lot in world boxing. A swing and a miss. A right hand to the jawbone. A big left hand that goes to the back of the head. And this time I wonder if the referee, Mr. Phelan Marsh, has a word. No, he lets them go. He had, hasn't had too much to do. I still queried the decision in regards to the point deduction. For those viewers at home, when you, uh, when you get hit with an uppercut, it's a lot more painful than getting hit with a straight punch or a hook or, a, or an overhand right. Getting hit with an uppercut right on the nose, it hits the lips, it hits teeth and it pushes the nose back. It hurts, it stings. Kamura pushed the button, he went for the big bowler. He knows he has to win by knockout. He went for the bowler at miss, but he has one intention. He's going out on his shield. Here we go, from the Marina Bay Sands, we're down to the business end. He's trying to bring home that Hanagata special. It's a bowler. In Australian terms, it's a bowler. Right to the body, he digs it in. Chris John on Kimura. Left hand, makes him miss, stands in close. Short right hand, then the left hand from Kimura. The boys stand at centre ring, and now Kimura on the receiving end of another onslaught from Chris John, and he still comes forward. Lovely combination punching Chris John through about four or five body shots, left and right to deliver, and then comes back with oh. a beautiful right uppercut. I think it was more like a, a right hook, but I'm not going to argue with the green machine. And there's another right hand from Chris John, and the Japanese boy is just unbelievably steel. This is a testament to the, to the preparation that Chris John, all the crew at Harry's, Craig, all the boys have done with Chris for this fight. It's magnificent. And for someone to be able to go at this pace for 12 rounds in against a tough warrior in Kimura, it just shows how hard this bloke's worked. Kimura would win a lot of contests tonight. He certainly would. The Japanese contingent have come with a plan. They may not get a result, but gee whiz, they've had a dig. Well, he'd definitely win the Leatherface contest. Phil and Ma separates the two fighters. Round 11 comes to an end. Status super championa, tylko organizacja WBA daje taki status. A więc automatycznie Chris Jones został mistrzem regularnym w 2016 roku. Ronnie Penhudziung, Ronnie Sebastian, Ronnie Dłoblas. Sojdzie Kimura, Serin Kalimula Paskan, Gora Popkulen, Kukulen, Niemborn, Bołs, Pekin, Lassi. 
z Gainerem się spotkał, wygrał z nimi, może leżał na deskach. Właściwie nigdy do tej pory nie może się pochwalić, że pokonał Chris'a Jones. Aksi dari Soji Kimura tersebut tidak berdampak sama sekali Chris Jones. Namun justru Soji Kimura terus mempertahankan dirinya agar tidak terjatuh. Pada akhir ronde mempertemukan dirinya berhadapan dengan Chris the Dragon John pada pertandingan ini. Meskipun mendapatkan tekanan yang begitu sengit dari Chris John, namun Soji Kimura yang terus mempertahankan dirinya agar tidak terjatuh dan kalah TKO saat berhadapan dengan Petinju kebanggaan Indonesia ini yaitu Chris the Dragon John. Niewiele zostało czasu Indonezijczykowi, żeby wygrać przed czasem, ale ale chyba to nie jest dla niego najważniejsze. Rozbity łuk. Tak mi się wydaje. Próbuje takimi rozpaczliwymi uderzeniami Kimura coś zmienić w obrazie tej walki. Strzała podwójnej gardy, strzela lewym sierpowym, prawym, ale rzadko trafi. I znów klincz, ale krótko ucieka z tego klinczu jak najszybciej tylko może Chris John. Ma jeszcze minutę, jeszcze próbuje tymi, no powiedziałbym, dość schematycznymi akcjami. Lewy z dołu, prawy z góry. Teraz znów trafił, ale gdy tylko trafia prawym, gdzieś tam w okolicy ucha od razu robi krok do przodu Kimura i się yy, przykleja do rywala. 35 sekund, spojrzał na e, e, zegar. E, Chris John. Zdaje się, że on też ma już świadomość, że jeśli wygra to na punkt. Jeszcze jeden z ostatnich ataków mistrza świata organizacji WBA w kategorii piórkowej. Jeszcze ten prawy z góry, tak na granicy faul. Ostatnie 10 sekund. Jeszcze jeden atak, ale widzą Państwo, zadaje prawy sierpowy, od razu klinczuje, od razu chwyta za głowę Chrisa, Johna, Kimura. Ostatnia sekunda, jeszcze ostatnie dwa ciosy zadaje Johannes Christian John i po wszystkim. Walka skończona. Teraz poczekamy na werdykt. Ja dan hingga akhir pertandingan, meskipun pelipis dari Christian yang mengeluarkan darah, namun tidak berpengaruh sama sekali untuk Chris the Dragon John pada pertandingan. Dan hingga akhir laga ini, Chris John dinyatakan menang dengan angka mutlak oleh dewan juri. Atas petinju Jepang yaitu Soji Kimura dalam laga 12 ronde mempertemukan kedua petinju ini Dan sekaligus Chris John atau Chris the Dragon John ini Petinju kebanggaan Indonesia berhasil mempertahankan sabuk atau gelar Bulu skala super WBA Championship milik Chris John pada pertandingan ini Ostatni pojedynek stoczył 30 września w Australii. Wcześniej boksował w kwietniu 2010 roku. Tylko jedna walka z Fernando Davidem Saucedo. W 2009 dwie, w 2008 też dwie, w 2007 dwie. Więc można powiedzieć, że nie przemęcza się Chris John. Ale wychodzi do walk dobrze przygotowany. I choć nie jest najefektowniej boksującym zawodowym mistrzem świata, to jednak bardzo ciężko się z nim boksuje, o czym przekonało się wielu naprawdę znakomitych pieściarzy. I teraz Jimmy Lennon Jr. ma głos. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards with a unanimous decision. Here are the scorecards. 
Judge at ringside, Francisco Martinez scores about 117 to 110. 117, Judges 117, one, 117, Suya Martinez. and Pinit Prayatsa both score about 118 to 109. All three in favor of the winner. And still the WBA featherweight zwycięstwo. Tego się można było spodziewać. Chrisa Johna to jego, proszę państwa, 47. wykonana zawodowy w ringach. Wciąż niepokonany Indonezyjczyk, mieszkający teraz w Australii. Smok z Jakarty, Smok z Indonezji wygrywa raz jeszcze. Shoji Kimura z Japonii. Przegrywa po raz piąty w karierze przy 24 wygranych.